All right, a few weeks ago, one of the buildings in our historic western town, which is just outside of the, uh, our driveway, actually, Fell was down. taken down and demolished. It was ready to come down, actually. Yes. It was. So they yes. took there it down. It there it is. I miss it. Yeah. Uh, oh. I know. Oh, so no. many. Oh, I know. But what, what lies it. in that? Little Look how gorgeous. Look at all amazing. that wood. Reclaimed wood. Yeah. It was actually on the yellow tape. It was actually so... Um, like you couldn't actually walk in. What's that right. called? It yeah. was uh, condemned. 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 Thank you. Ding, 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 ding. ding. Yes. Good. Fantastic. So, um, a little history lesson. With yeah. You? So that um, that part of the lot is one of the original parts of the lot, and it dates from around 1912 to 1918, oh, and is really where they did lots and lots of shooting. Like I can't swear by it, but I would not be surprised if John Wayne himself right. put his foot on this wood. Yeah. Actually, I have no way of knowing yes. that, but <laughs> well, he was here. He could have been. He was right. here on the I, lot. So yeah. it's amazing. You walk down. So. It's it's sad to me, you know, when buildings like that are no longer, and some of them have to go. But it's really great to be able to take those pieces of wood. Not only is it stylish right now to have reclaimed lumber, it's good for the planet, and I think it's nice to have pieces in our world where things are so mass produced to have right. pieces that have really real unique. integrity mm -hmm. and history. Yeah. Well, the last time you here, you made a council table out of wood. Yes, yes. wood and, and yes. pipe. There, I think we have a photo. There, there we go. There that there was from the floorboards, yeah, like the steps beautiful. and the the deck in front of the building. Loved that was super it. Everybody easy. Everybody was fighting over that table. Everybody wanted. <laughs> To take it home. I know everybody fabulous. did. I don't know what happened to it. I don't see it in the house. I think, I think Prop Master oh, got the. Uh, Prop Master got. <laughs> okay. Um, one question I want to ask you: Since this is reclaimed wood and it's been here for centuries, um, how do you make? How do you know it doesn't have termites in there? So you do want to check the wood, and that's really you can tell. You can push on it, make sure it's hard, make sure it's not wet. Look for any sort of um, bug you know, holes, and when you see when it's cut, you can see this is actually nice and, right. you oh, know, beautiful. dry okay. and beautiful wood. So, yeah, right. you do want, you don't want to bring termite-infested termite wood into the house, because that's a whole other segment. And what are you making today? Today I'm making one of these, these shelves, and you see them, I think we have a beauty shot of it, or we saw earlier, that look like it's one piece of wood. Yeah. It looks like it's a big, big piece block. of timber. Mm -hmm. And if you can actually find those big pieces of timber, you can pay up to a thousand bucks for that reclaimed lumber. Really? So I'm going to give you that same look, but it's going to be a hollow box, and we're going to use the um, the facing of the of the um, building. And just to be clear here for everyone at home, you don't have to have a dilapidated building from Universal to do this. <laughs> <laughs> you can really do this with old fencing that's coming down, an old plywood playhouse, right. old steps if old you're replacing your steps. If you happen to have an old barn. Yeah. Mr. Iowa. Okay. So, so what's the first step? So let's start off. Um, I did this earlier. What I did was measure out what I had. They came in long pieces. I decided um, the biggest piece, how much I could cut it in half, and I got five feet. So I cut them in half into five feet. And the size doesn't really matter. Figure out how much wood you have and how best to optimize it. So I got two five-foot pieces that way. Um, I marked it to sort of trim off that little broken edge, um, and that's where the color changed. And then once I got that, I got a third piece, and I basically split it um, down the center, so it was 10 inches wide, so I got two five-foot pieces. And so that's going to be the wraparound um, for the front and the back. So if you look here, this is what I got. Um, and you can lay it here. So what you want, and then I actually have a second piece, which I didn't have enough to show you guys at home. Did but you treat this? No, this is the actual finish. It's wow. gorgeous, it right? Nice. You, you pay a lot for that kind of finish. Um, so once you've got this laid out, you've got your two sides, your front, and your top and your bottom, what you're going to do is assemble it. And I actually used a nail gun to do this, so you can take a look here. Um, first, use wood glue because you really want to make sure you get an extra hold. With a lot of these old pieces, they're warped um, and not necessarily consistent, so the wood glue adds an extra bond. And then I used a nail gun, but you could also just use tiny finishing nails and tack it in, so, you know, that's super easy. Put on your two sides, put on your front, and then just go around, and really this can be as wide or as narrow as you want it. And at the very end, you know, put on that front facing piece, which is gonna finish off the, the block. That's what I've got right here.
and look once what we did while we wrapped that tape, we exactly. put this whole thing together for now you. Now we're just going to put it over here on the wall. Excuse me, Christina. You want to drill for us? Sure. No, don't do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so what I've got up here is a ledger, and all this is is a two by four that is nailed to the wall. Um, you can use dry anchors. You can use molly bolts. Talk to your um, talk to your hardware store. They can actually give you recommendations as, as the best way to hang it, because really, depending on whether you have sheetrock or whatever walls. And then all you're going to do is three nails through the top of it so into screws. that okay. screws. You could say so screws. Screws, that. sorry. If you would like more Boom. ideas from Ken, you can uh, visit Ken Wingard at kenwingard.com. This is fabulous. We're going to put everything on there. All right. Et voila. Et voila. Nice job.